Good morning, YouTube. BD Kane 721. Well, like the title says, I'm finally diving in to the world of grading. It's been a long time since I've been considering doing this. I wasn't sure if it was right for me and the type of collection that I have, but I've seen some really great videos over the last, I don't know, a couple of months about grading. I've been researching it a little bit more, trying to figure out whether the advantages outweigh the disadvantages for somebody like me. Um, so I'm going to take a shot. I'm definitely a rookie when it comes to grading, uh, and I I like to think I have a, a good eye for uh, cards and their condition, but who knows? And I, and, and I think I've been warned by several people on YouTube about how difficult it can be, and sometimes you might think one way and then you get the results and it's totally the opposite so you just never know but I'm going to take a chance I want to first thank uh, some YouTubers out there uh, Ed Wesker Griff who has always been a proponent of grading and has uh, obviously shown a lot of graded cards over the years and, and he's been energizing me to get more involved in the grading world so thanks Ed for all of your videos on grading uh, Mike O and JT, uh, who, who whose Facebook group I belong to, uh, and I'm going to be going through for the group submission. Can't thank you guys enough for for doing that and taking the lead on it. Uh, especially JT, who has put out some, a couple of videos recently on grading and the process, and has taken over the PSA grading portion of their little, uh, I guess you call it business. I'm not really sure if it's a business or not. Um, but I can't thank him enough for all that he does. He is slowly becoming one of my all-time favorite YouTubers with all the information that he gives out on his videos. So I really do appreciate that. So what I, what I wanted to do was show you the seven cards that I'm going to be submitting, kind of as a pre-submission video, uh, mainly to you know see what you guys think of the cards I'm sending in or, uh, maybe even keeping a record of the cards that I sent in. I'm not sure if I really need to do that or not, but I thought it would be fun. And like I said, I have seven cards, two of which I, I will just tell, tell everybody right up front that I am doing this strictly for resale or trading. Uh, they just don't fit in my collection, and I think there's a market for them. I don't know, possibly. They're not going to be high dollar value uh, cards, but they're going to be, you know, worth a little bit and possibly um, maybe allow me to trade for some cards that I need. So the first one is a card from the recent 2019 Series 2 uh, box that I opened. This is a Nolan Ryan Bat Relic Gold version out of that set from 2019. It's the 84 uh, throwback version. It's numbered 250. I don't know if I can get this thing. There you go. It's numbered 7 out of 50. Uh, it, it's in really, really good shape. I, I, I just don't see this coming back less than a 9. Hopefully it has a shot at a 10, but again, you just never know. And then the other card that is going to be strictly for resale is a card that I've actually pulled. It's the lowest numbered auto that I've ever pulled in anything that I've opened from 2019 Topps Chrome. It's a red wave version numbered out of five of Thomas, I think his last name is Pannone. Maybe it's Pannone. I don't know how he pronounces his name. I don't think there's a lot of collectors of this guy out there, but... I think there might be a lot of collectors who love these low numbered autos and it's just such an awesome looking card. I mean the red waves and the red cards are just always so great looking in top chrome. Uh, once again numbered out of five, number two of five. The card that's one out of five is up on eBay right now selling, um, I forget what the value, what the asking price is on it. but. Hopefully that could come back at 10. I think it has a shot at potentially coming back at 10. It's in great shape, really well centered. So those are the cards that I will be submitting for uh, for resale or trading. 
And then the last five are all cards that I'm uh, keeping for investment purposes, potentially for long term, uh, for long term value. A uh, couple of rookies. First one is 2018 Tops Chrome Ronald Acuna Jr. I've got a few of these in my possession. This one's going to be the best one to send in, so I think I'll take a shot with that one. I've got a Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie card from 2019 Tops Chrome. I have several of these, but um, I think any one of them could have been submitted. But I'll just uh, I just chose that one. I also have his sepia version, which is in fantastic shape. Although I think I mean I don't know how this could be less than a nine, pack fresh kind of stuff. I, don't, I just don't I don't see how this could be less than a nine. This has maybe a shot at being a ten. Would be an awesome card to have at a 10. Then the last two cards are of are what I think JT calls modern cards because they're a little older than I think 2007. They're older than 2017. If you are a viewer of my channel and you've watched one of my very first videos, if you go back in time and look at one of my very first videos, I came across a garage sale that was selling cards about 10 years ago. And they had a bunch of 1993 Tops unopened boxes. I think there were five of them. And I bought all five of them and opened them up and got about, I think I got four or five regular Jeter rookies and two gold version Jeter rookies. I looked at the gold version Jeter rookie and I do have one that's potentially possible to send in, but I'm not ready to send those type of cards in yet. I just want to try out these lower valued ones. So I'm going to give this one a shot and see if uh, this would come back at a 10. I don't think so, but it's in really great shape. It's really well centered. The corners are really sharp. Uh, so who knows? And then the last card is, I for those of you that also watch, that watch my videos, know that I have a small base insert PC of Mike Trout. Uh, I've been doing that the last couple of years, and I went through all of those cards. There's several that are candidates to send in, but I chose one that I think is maybe the best candidate to potentially get a 10, and that's this 2013 um, base card of Mike Trout with the Rookie Cup on it, which I think is an awesome, awesome card of his. So... Don't know. I, you know, I'm 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 pretty confident that all these cards can get probably a, a, a nine minimum. And if that's the case, why not give it a shot? So once again, thanks to everybody for watching. And I will be back hopefully within the next couple of months. Maybe by September, I will have these cards back and I'll, I'll be able to show off what their grades are. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys soon. See you.